get a team pretty checking in just to show you the difference between um, the Bianchi the Aria this is the Bianchi Aria disc and this is the Bianchi Aria E road um, so the one on the left is um, it's never been ridden and then I had a bit of FOMO and always it's keen to get the E Aria to make it a bit easier for me to get up hills and stuff keeping up with the boys so they are two different frame sizes so this one here being the just a standard aria disc is a 55 centimeter yep that's a 55 centimeter they do look smick i reckon they're the best looking bikes i've ever seen and then this is the bianchi aria e road and then that one is in a smaller size, which suit me a little bit better. This one's probably a little bit too small. The other one's a bit too big. I'll probably go for a split the gap 54 next time. Um, they're both the Altegra models. I think that this Aria E-Road is the older generation. Maybe the first one. Because you can see your mile e-bike motion or whatever that bloody thing is um a little bit finicky had to download the instruction manual for that one so you push it turn it on i think green then tells you what power mode it's in and you push it again and it'll flash so green's eco power that orange is middle power then red is max power um, so the differences between this old one and the new one is that stem. So that stem there looks shit. And I did buy a new one, the same as just the Aria disc. So I think with this one here being newer, it's got the squared off stem. I really like that, how that's all flush and just more of a square. It looks super stealthy. So that chimney stack looks shit, but I've never chopped it down and I've never ridden this one and just sat, it's just been a lounge room trophy since I bought it. But tell um, yeah, they do look smick. And that's them side by side, I think. You wouldn't really pick the Aria E-Road compared to the No. Um, no, no matter, you can pick that. This down tube is thinner on that one. So you can just see roughly. But, um, have a look down at him. I don't know, the detailed specs would be online, but I think you're looking at about 40 mil versus the Aria E-Road. Just kicks out a bit more. So you got probably about 50 mil there. Oh, maybe 45. Oh. I don't know, I'm getting a bit confused there. It is a bit thinner. Sorry, thicker. And then when you look at this down tube, you're talking that's about, oh. Maybe about 65 mil, 70 mil. Um, versus the Aria disc, no e-bike. Oh no, maybe they are about the same. I think it's just the fatness. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see when you look down that triangle there, the thickness running down here. But it's bugger all. Like, if you didn't see them side by side, I'd think you'd be struggling to pick it. Um... So you can see on the E road that it is a bit fatter. You can just see that width. Um, just correlating to the tire, it does look a bit. And it doesn't have that taper down at the bottom, so it tapers at the top. But it doesn't taper down at the bottom like the other one. Well, I think they're aero bikes, but I don't know. I just bought it because it looks fucking hot. So, yeah, you can see that this one here has got that full aero, like a blade style. 
And I think with this one here being the bigger size, you can see more of this cut out in that down tube. Oh, that's because it doesn't have a battery too. So you can see that you got your straight line come up and then it's got that slight curve to it. Whereas the E-Road doesn't have that and that'll be probably because the battery. So you've got the top tube there runs up pretty much square. Righto, so that is the two side by side um, in the two different sizes. That's the E-Road versus the Aria Disc and I reckon they're just the best looking bikes. I really enjoy um, the Aria E-Road. I'm pretty sure the Aria Disc would have been good. I've had Giants, Colnagos, Pinarellos, everything. I just love that trademark Celeste colour. And yeah, I just think they're an absolute ripper. So that's if you're wondering, oh yes, the size difference. And also the difference between an E-Road and the Aria disc. But yeah, for me they're both bloody mean sensational bikes. What a rip off. Righto team. Well that's just a bit of a walk around of them. Just help you out, hopefully, if you're looking at them. But yeah, I'd highly recommend them. I love these bikes and <clears throat> good if you're getting a bit older like me. And um it just gives you a little bit of assistance. It's nothing crazy. Like I've been on those dirt mountain bike ones with the mid drives, because this one here's just got the hub motor. <clears throat> I think it's 350 watts. Not too sure. But I have ordered that mod cable for it too. Just to bring it up a bit quicker. I don't think it's going to do too much. It's already <clears throat> pretty close to its power level. But I think <clears throat> it will still help you when you're going a bit faster. I think maybe over 25 k's an hour here in Oz. Or 30. So it does cut out at about there. So I'll just keep you... Giving a bit of assistance while they are still powering on. Righto, well that's the walkthrough. I um, hope that helps you. But yeah, I highly recommend these and that colour just pops. I didn't really like that summertime dream. Um, and actually I got these ones, I put Durace on it. Um, still never been ridden in those. I think they're Durace. I don't know, ice rated you, so I think they, um, I pre personally prefer the ones with holes in it, but I don't know, aero, 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 whatever, so they do look cool, they stand out a little bit more, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I just prefer the cut out of the holes, but they are pretty sweet, the Altegra, good wang factor, and yeah, that's your two side by side, very good. Righto team, well, as always, that's um, Petey checking it out, and I hope you have an awesome day. Stay tuned. <laughs>